Hello, I'm Jack Stevenson. I've uh, been here today with a bunch of boys that are are godly men, and I've really enjoyed it. But uh, I'm supposed to tell y'all who I am and what I've done all these years. So most of my life, and all of my life, really, I've cowboyed, and that's all I've really ever wanted to do. I've born on a little old ranch in South Texas, and Rode horseback with my dad when I was probably three months old the first time and I just never got over it. But I've had the opportunity to to be around a lot of good cowboys and and been raised in church all my life and, and I've, I've, if I could have just learned part of what everything that I'd been taught over the years it would be good, both on the spiritual side and the and the physical side as far as the cowboy side of it goes but my my life uh, all my life I was raised in church and knew knew about God and everything else and of course I I like a lot of hard-headed boys kids well I had other things I wanted to do and I pr tried to get out just as soon as possible but the one thing that never could get away w from is respect of God and and having a heart for God. I, I never could uh, get very far away without thinking about and praying about things, even when I was out there in left field and, and doing things that I probably shouldn't have done. But uh, uh, I started rodeoing about when I was 14 years old. I was roping calves and bulldogging and riding bareback horses in the high school rodeos. And, and didn't. I ended up doing most of what little I did in the rodeo world in the team roping and uh, and over the years I was very successful in in the amateur part of it and then the one year the first year we tried to to go to well we in in 84 it got to the point where the lot of the numbers was changing and so uh, as far as the the handicap roping goes uh, I guess they'd been beat by the top guys so much that they wanted to try to get a little bit uh, level to playing field where they'd have a chance. So that's kind of the years that I was brought up and had my opportunity to win my most money. And uh, so that the 84 men, 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 Jackie, my son, uh, we went off to the rodeos and, and hadn't been to pro rodeos before much, except in my earlier years, I rode some bareback horses and and team roped a little bit early, uh, back in the 60s. So we, I got my card back and we started out uh, rodeoing some and placed a little bit. And, and uh, in 84, uh, we were in, in July, I think late June, in Las Vegas, Nevada at the, at the rodeo before the finals was there. And uh, we had, uh, Met a good Christian boy, but that by this time I turned my life back over to the Lord. I'm getting ahead of myself, but serving God and trying to do what God had wanted me to do. And so we in Sam's Town, which is a casino, that's where we stand because it was cheap to stay there and had good food. And I, I wasn't gambling or anything, but we just walked through there and go to our room or to the to the cafeteria or the restaurant. Anyway, this friend of mine, a Catholic boy from from Colorado JC Dickens he said why don't you and Jackie go to the finals this year and I, I said well, you mean that I said yeah I said we here it is June we got about 2500 one it's gonna take about 30,000 to get there I said we're starting a little late and he said well the Bible says that if any two or three agree on anything as, as touching anything that that God will give them their request as, as long as you we trust the Lord and, and stay hooked with what we believe so said okay and we prayed and and here we went we started going rodeoed all through that that summer and went into the to the the early part of the last half and I mean we was placing a lot and winning a lot and and uh, we got the opportunity to travel with Alan Bach and Jimmy Cooper flying around the country with them and we got into the word a lot and of course we had you know we had a lot of a lot of Bible discussion. Of course, I was raised in a 
in a full gospel, and he was raised in a Baptist. Of course, we were, we we had uh, we had different ideologies about some of the things that we thought we knew about the Bible. And of course, uh, as we studied and listened to tapes and reading books, we learned a whole lot more about the things of God and the trust in God. But anyway, we went all through the year, and right up to the end, we liked about twelve hundred dollars making the finals. Everybody was already pretty much in place, and and we needed to to get the last hole. We needed to win about twelve hundred dollars, and we got to the Cow Palace. And before that, uh, I probably had five or six, three or four chances anyway that I can remember of winning some money and getting that little amount of money back and and uh, making the finals. But for that time, you know, God. God lets us and allows us to go through things sometimes just test our faith. He don't, te he don't test us. The Bible says that God don't tempt anyone, but he allows things to come in our lives. And so that particular time, well, we went into the cow palace, and I hadn't caught a steer in probably three rodeos. I mean, there's just everything in the world happened, and I, I just couldn't. I felt like if I backed in there, I couldn't even hit one. So I tried one around and tried to find somebody with a rope and dummy. That's horns and you stick in the bale of hay and throw a few loops to kind of get warmed up. Couldn't find anything so I just got two sticks and stuck it in the bale of hay and threw about four loops at it and kind of got my got the feel of it that I could catch one again. So we entered the cow I mean we backed in and got our, got our first run and I said God I know we're going to make the finals and I know that you're going to give me the good steer. Well, I backed in there on my first steer, and he went left, went all the way to the left wall, went down the left fence, and I roped him, turned him around backwards, and I think we were 10 or 11 on him. I don't remember what, but it was a long time. And in the natural, all the world champions was there. In the natural, that wasn't going to ever get a call back because it was two, two steers and then the short round, which is a three-header, and you had to get be the fastest on two to get back to the short round. Well... I said, well, thank you, Lord. I said, I know we're making the finals. And I wanted to say, man, what in the world's going on here? But I made myself just keep my confession right, my words right. And I believed that, that God was going to do it. And I just said, thank you, Jesus. We're going to make the finals. And the next year, I know you're going to give me the best deer walking. The next deer. Well, we got looked at the draw and, and he'd... Uh, he'd uh, he hadn't gone the first round. Well, he did. He go went in the first round, and he run hard. That really, that was right. He run real hard, and he said, "I asked the guy that had him. He said, man, he runs hard and he's heavy, and he just he, he's no good.'" And I said, "Well, God, I said, you know, here's your chance to show how good you are and how real you are, and what how, what prayer stands for." He said, "I know that that I'm going to come across the line. I'm just going." to knock the barrier back I'm gonna drop a call and I'm gonna go left and we're gonna we're gonna get money so I did and backed in there and I just threw everything I had and my little brown horse went left and he moved he, he moved him about two or three jumps and I went far as I couldn't face it up and Jackie was sitting there with two feet and we were seven two no six two one yeah six two and T woman was six Six one, I think, maybe or six flat, and we were six one. Whatever it was, I, I don't remember exactly the time, but we was winning second, and come all the way through that that that, that second round, and we won second in the, in, in the round, and and so, we I said, well, thank you, Lord, you know, and I said to myself in my mind, my mind was talking to me, and said, well, you don't, that's too long, too long, you're not going to get back to the second to the short round. But we did. We got back. Uh, T woman come back in in the 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 twelfth place. They had two rounds: one on Saturday night and one on Sunday. So we won that. We finally won one second first round, and I think we won eight hundred. We need four hundred dollars more to win the win the to, to win enough to get the final. So I, and I, and we made the short round, and I said, Lord, thank you for that good steer. Well. That good steer that I counted on was just about like the second one. He run hard and and uh, just almost identical. But T woman was a run right, I think maybe right right before us. And uh, he he was six 
flat or six one, whatever the different one. With the, both of our runs was identical in the short round. He was six one, we were six two, or vice. I mean, or six flat or six one, whatever it was. Anyway, I, I, Jackie was there with the horses, and I was going home. So I told Jackie, I said, "Well, I'll call me Sunday night, the next day when the round was." And I caught a plane and flew back home, and we was in bed about midnight on Sunday night the next morning. That I mean, that then after the last performance in the short round, and. Uh, phone rang about 12 o'clock, 12, 1 o'clock, I don't remember, it's pretty late. Jackie called and said, well, Daddy, what do you think we've done? I said, I don't know, but I said, I know we made the finals. He said, yeah. said, we won second in the short round. Not anybody even moved us through all of the world champions that went that night, and we won right at three or 4,000. We didn't have to win but 400 more. Anyway, and God, God just... Uh, honored that what we prayed but anyway what was was good about it or what was really scary about it to me at the time I hadn't really got up and spoke to anybody and and when I got the final one when we I told God I said boy if, God if you get me to the finals I'll get up and tell everybody about you well just before we run the first day at the finals Coy Huffman come up to me and said Jack you're up tonight up upstairs that we're having church and you got to speak and I I heard the Lord speak to me and he said what are you going to do now and I said Lord I said, I'm going to get up there, and if you don't give me something to say, I said, I'm going to be the dumbest looking fella that you ever had. But when I walked up there, I don't know what I said, but I talked about 15 or 20 minutes, and and everybody said it was fine. But anyway, I got the opportunity to speak every night. So, But, but, God, but I want to just really say that when you trust God, He'll bring you through. Since then, He has brought me through so many different things that and blessed me so many times and and let me win a lot had a lot of chances to speak and to be around young boys in roping schools and stuff like that and had the opportunity to to help them and and lead them towards the lord uh the best thing that happened to me was my wife she she prayed for me all of the years that that i was out there in left field and wasn't trusting god but you got to remember always pray for the lost and your loved one because if if it hadn't been for the lord touching and protecting me through the years i don't think i'd be here now and my wife and my family and my church just just stayed before the lord the whole time i was out there and one day he touched me and i had never been the same and i just want to thank god and thank uh thank brother rick and 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 this crew this this ministry that we're working on to to spread the gospel and help go through the cowboy world that that uh, God will anoint each and every one and I just thank God for the opportunity to be a part of it I thank God for my kids for Jackie and and every one of my children are serving God and in working in the church and my wife is a Sunday school teacher and, and Lord's just blessed us all the way through with the ranch and, and cattle and, and the things that I love to do. I don't really go rope a lot anymore. I rope a good bit at home, but I don't get on the road because I've got a lot of other stuff to do. But uh, the Lord has just blessed us all the way through and I just thank God for the opportunity to be around so many men of God and, and uh, I just trust that we'll see you down the road and, and we just want to praise God for all he's done for us. Thank you.